And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Yamaceratops, which was a request from Philip via Patreon, so thanks. It was a Neoceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. And first, a skull was found in the 1991 American Museum of Natural History Mongolian Academy of Sciences expedition. Members of those expeditions then came back in 2002 and 2003 and found more Yamaceratops material. There's not enough fossils, unfortunately, to know the size of this dinosaur, but it was herbivorous. It had a relatively thick rostral that had a rugose or wrinkled texture, and it had a frill that may not have been used for display, but rather, quote, hints at a more complex evolutionary history for ceratopsian frills, end quote. The edge of the frill is, quote, heavily pitted by muscle insertions, indicating that the frill served as a platform for large jaw adductors, end quote. Sounds familiar. It does. Some of Ollie's representations show the muscles of ceratopsians making their way up the frill, which is just awesome to see. Yeah, so definitely a nice tie-in. Yamaceratops also had a distinct epijugal ossification, basically an armored cheek plate, and it's the most basal neoceratopsian with this. The frill and cheeks suggest that there's more variety in cetacosaurids and neoceratopsians than previously thought. Yamaceratops was described in 2006 by Makaviki and Norrell. The type species is Yamaceratops thorngobiensis, and the name means Yama Horned Face. The name refers to Yama, a Tibetan Buddhist deity who is the lord of death and one of the eight protectors of Buddhist teaching, and who has the head of a water buffalo and has horns, like ceratopsians. I wonder if Tibetan monks found a Yamaceratops skull all those years ago, oh. and that's where it comes from. You never know. <laughs> The species name refers to the eastern Gobi, Thorn Gobiensis. Yamaceratops was originally thought to be from the early Cretaceous, but then a later study found it to be from the late Cretaceous. Scientists found a fossilized egg and embryo in an area where Yamaceratops was commonly found, but a later study with more CT scans found that that egg was actually of a bird, not Yamaceratops. Hmm. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 